Welcome to Medicine Handy Points. The topic is Oster Weber Rendell Syndrome. Let's quickly discuss this topic. It is also called hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. Its mode of transmission is autosomal dominant syndrome. Now, how to diagnose it? There is Kurakau criteria for diagnosis. There are four points in it. Number one is recurrent epistaxis. Number second point is multiple telangiectasia on skin and mucosa, on the face, lips, nose, oral mucosa, fingertips. Number third point is, uh, in the coming slide, we will touch on that. Uh, it is GAT telangiectasia. Hepatic AV malformation, pulmonary AV malformation, cerebral AV malformation, and spinal AV malformation. Imaging are usually used to detect the AV malformation. Number four point is first degree having hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. If the patient fulfills two points, then probable diagnosis of uh, Oscar Weber Randall syndrome can be made. If three points positive, then definitely it is Osterweber Rendown syndrome. There's a few picture epistaxis. You the patient may present with epistaxis, the patient may present with telangiectasia, as you can see on the left face. I hope you like it and please subscribe.